YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about wiring up the volume switch on the Arcade 1 Up. So this is going to go out to credit uh, Iculus on Reddit. He was the one who figured this out. And this is his method. This is actually his page. It goes through all the process of doing it. And I'm just going to do a quick step-by-step uh, step so that you can do it because it involves you know, uploading a file, compiling a program, and extending some wiring. So let's get started here, okay? So first, here's I just made this so that we can go along easily. So if you look at the volume controls, this is what his control deck looked like. If you can see closely, his this is if it was upside down, uh, facing on the inside of the panel. So this is, you know, where the top of the panel would be. His colors go blue, red, and white. But on mine, I have a Street Fighter cabinet. Mine goes black, brown, and red. So it's going to be a little confusing. So you may need some, uh, to make like a diagram or something. But what needs to happen is those pins have to connect to 12 14 and 16 on the Raspberry Pi. So to do that, you just need to extend them and label them. So here, you know, 12 is the middle one, 14 is the one on the right, and 16 is the one on the left. Same with mine, see? 12 is the middle one, 14 is the red one, and the black one's the bottom one on the arcade one up. So if you can do that, uh, on the connector, just plug it in. Okay, and just so you know too, if, if you're confused by the colors, draw it out, make a diagram so you can better understand it, and the cable's not going to be long enough, so you probably need to use uh, some Cat5 cable just to extend it to the to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, and then next, you're going to have to create a file in the arcade one up. This is a program that uh, the guy who figured it out, he created a program here that would make the volume go up and down. I'll add the file in the description so you don't need to copy or pause anything here. But I use a program called CyberDuck on the Mac. But you can use whatever SSH uh, program you want to use. So here's the code here. Again, I'll throw in my version and his version on there. So you'll need to upload that file over to home slash pies on the arcade one up. So just as a just as like a review here, this is Cyberduck. So you know, if once you log in, you're gonna end up here in the root folder. You want to find the home folder, so we just got to go there. Where is it here? Home, yep, yeah. and then Pi, and then upload it right there. I've already done it, so mine's here. And then once you've uploaded it, here's uh, what I've done. I've actually made some changes to the program, so I'll I'll upload mine, and I'll upload his. Like the original version, I found the low volume was originally set to 75 it was way too quiet and the high volume was set to 90 so it was almost too loud so I you know I put it 80 and 90 I find that's a good volume for low and high so to do that you know uh, you just upload the program in here and if you want to edit it and tweak it you can go into cyberduck and go go in here where is that edit with text edit Again, your program might be a little different, but you know you can change the numbers around. So you know you change it. I changed it to 80, 80, 80, 80 there, and up here it's 90, 90, 90. Again, you won't need to do any of this. You just need to upload the file in the home slash pi folder, like I mentioned, and you're it. You're good to go. Okay. Now that you have the file in there, this is the tricky part because you need to take that file and uh, compile it. So he used a program called WiringPy to do that. 
So again, you'll need to go into terminal. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, you need more help than I do. You'll have to go in here, you know, log into it. Once you're logged into the Pi, you know, the username for the Pi is Pi. The password is always Raspberry unless you changed it. And then you got to get in there and type this in, sudo space apt dash get space install space wiring pi. Once you do that, type this in. Try and copy and paste it. Do not uh, try and type, it, type this out manually. You'll probably mess up on there. That's an O, not a zero. It's all case sensitive probably, so just be careful. You'll know it worked when you hit enter after typing this line in. When you hit enter, you won't get an error. You won't get any notification that it worked, but if you did it wrong, you're going to get an error. So if it worked, you won't get anything. It'll just look like this below it, waiting for another command, and it's actually done. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do is we're adding it to the uh, etc rc local file here that he has. This is just so that it uh, starts up every time it's turned on. So to do that, I'll get my tutorial back up here. It's going to be tough. You can't do it in Cyberduck because it's uh, write protected. So type in here sudo nano et slash etc slash rc local. I'll show you what it looks like on here. You can kind of get a there, just type enter. So this is what it looks like. So you can, you know, go down. See, I already have it in there, but you would want to copy that code, paste it, paste it right in there, and then hit Control X, and then it will prompt you to save. Hit enter. Mine, I didn't change anything, so it didn't prompt me. And then you want to reboot. So you go into terminal again. Type in sudo nano reboot and your Pi will restart. I've already done all this so I don't need to do it, but I'll show you how this works. Because I have the Pi running right now. Okay, so this is the Pi. <clears throat> I have my favorite set up here. So this pretty much works on everything. I found it except uh, Dreamcast games. So let's try... Try something here. Try a good old X Men. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Here's the game loading up. No sound. That's because it's on the off position. Turn it on. See, and then that's the low. And there's the high volume. And then off again. See, and then that's pretty much it. Also, I added this uh, coin button here. So you can add coins. I'm sure everyone else has done that. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any other questions or tutorials you want to see on the Arcade 1UP, leave a comment at the video and I hope you had a I hope you learned something. And have a great day. Bye.